Hey guys, it's Rita Galmeri and welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, I'm back again with another unboxing and first impressions video. And this time, it's another Xiaomi device. So this is the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Yes guys, I will also quickly explain to you the naming at kung ito ba talaga yung Redmi Note 9 Pro Max in India. Yes, ang Redmi Note 9 S po natin, yun yung Redmi Note 9 Pro ng India. And then yung Redmi Note 9 Pro naman natin, ito yung Redmi Note 9 Pro Max ng India. So yes, wag na po kayo maghanap ng Redmi Note 9 Pro Max dito sa atin dahil ito na yun, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I know, medyo nakakalito but that's how it is. So ano nga ba yung mga upgrades na meron itong si Redmi Note 9 Pro? At ang question, should you be getting the 9 Pro instead of the 9S? Actually, na-unbox ko na to dahil hindi ko na napigilan ang sarili ko since this is the color white. And ang sabi dito, with easy access to the Google apps you use most. Mm. For the Redmi Note 9 Pro, we have three available color variants. And that is the Interstellar Gray, Glacier White, and yun nga po yung meron ako, and yung Tropical Green. And syempre, yung color availability nitong 9 Pro, iba sa 9S. For the 9S, meron din syang Interstellar Gray, may Glacier White din siya. Pero ang pinagkaiba ang 9S naman, may Aurora Blue. Oh. <laughs> By the way, again, ito po yung Redmi Note 9S and I already chose the winner via Instagram Live. So, sa mga nagtatanong po, close na po yung giveaway. So, we have here the cardboard box. Tingnan natin kung may difference dun siya doon sa 9S. We have the SIM ejector tool or yung ating panindot. Of course, yung ating user guide and the warranty card. And a transparent jelly case. And yung ating phone, again, this is the Glacier White. Nagaling na rin natin yung plastic. Dahil dapat talagang tanggalin yung mga plastic. So, ito na yung ating Redmi Note 9 Pro. Naalis ko na siya sa plastic. And this is the Redmi Note 9S. So, ano nga bang difference nila? Actually, physically, ayan, kung makikita nyo. And for a closer look, wala talaga silang pinagkaiba. Unless, if you will look closely for the Redmi Note 9 Pro, sa camera niya nakalagay na 64 megapixels. And then, for the Redmi Note 9S, it's 48 megapixels. Yung isa pang pinagkaiba ng Redmi Note 9 Pro sa Redmi Note 9S, yung kasamang power brick or yung charger sa kanya. Yung kasamang charger dito guys na in-unbox natin na Redmi Note 9 Pro is a 33 watt charger. Compared to the Redmi Note 9 S that we unboxed last week, 22.5 watt naman yung charger na kasama sa kanya. Actually, kung pagtatabihin natin yung USB type si charging cable, merong orange accent yung sa Redmi Note 9 Pro compared to the Redmi Note 9 S probably to distinguish which is a more fast charging so, bakit nga ba tinawag ng Redmi na Pro itong smartphone na to? In the smartphone industry, usually kapag mga Pro or even Pro Max, it's a larger smartphone, bigger display. But actually guys, that's not the case here. Yung display po nitong Redmi Note 9 Pro is also the same with the Redmi Note 9S na 6.67 inches dot display with 2400 by 1080 pixels resolution. Meron din siyang Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection. Actually, marami talagang similarities sa itong phone na to, but doon muna tayo at pag-usapan muna natin yung pinagkaiba nilang dalawa. Because with my 3 days use of the Redmi Note 9 Pro, I really did experience a difference with the Redmi Note 9S. The biggest difference guys is yung kanilang primary camera. The Redmi Note 9 Pro guys, itong device that we just unboxed, ang kanyang main sensor po is 64 megapixels, f1.8 aperture, and yung kanyang ginamit is the Samsung GW1. Compared to the Redmi Note 9S, it has 48 megapixels f1.7 aperture at ang sensor na ginamit is Samsung G M2. Paano ba natin malalaman kung ano yung kuha ng 64 megapixels compared to the 48 megapixels? Ito yung side-by-side -side comparison natin guys. Actually, if malayo, hindi nyo masyadong mapapansin yung pinakaiba nila. If isuzoom in na natin yung photos... Kung mapapansin nyo, mas sharper yung kuha ng Redmi Note 9 Pro na 16 megapixels compared to the Redmi Note 9S na 12 megapixels. Kapag full resolution naman na 64 megapixels at 48 megapixels, again, side by side, actually guys, ang hirap talagang ma-distinguish, parehas na parehas lang. But if we will crop it again, mas makikita nyo na mas sharper and detailed yung sa 64 megapixels. So in good lighting conditions guys, medyo mahirap talagang ma-distinguish kung ano yung 64 megapixels at 48 megapixels. Pero kapag low light na, for the Redmi Note 9 Pro guys, it performs a lot better kahit na sobrang dilim pa. Like this photo guys, 
sobrang visible ng subject natin sa Redmi Note 9 Pro compared to the Redmi Note 9S. Even for landscape shots guys, mas brighter yung sa Redmi Note 9 Pro compared to the Redmi Note 9S. But not to the point na overblown siya na kung saan sobrang sharp, sobrang taas ng contrast unlike other devices. So for night photography guys, definitely the Redmi Note 9 Pro performed a lot better. And the rest guys, for the 8 megapixels ultra wide, 5 megapixels macro lens, and 2 megapixels depth sensor, they all give me the same detail. Paras na paras lang din guys yung kulay. And then for the selfie camera guys, paras po silang merong 16 megapixels. Actually, they almost gave me the same detail subject to background separation. Pero, konting konti lang actually, kung makikita nyo dito sa sample photos natin, yung ginanda ng Redmi Note 9 Pro compared to the Redmi Note 9S. So yes guys, overall conclusion for the Redmi Note 9 Pro compared to the Redmi Note 9S for the cameras, you will definitely feel the upgrade and the changes sa night photography niya and sa main camera. So what else? Ano pa bang pinagkaiba ng Pro compared to the 9S? Actually guys, itong Redmi Note 9 Pro, ang battery capacity niya is 5,020 mAh. Parehas lang po sa Redmi Note 9S that we just reviewed again recently. Pero yung charging nila guys, magkaiba. I did a test. Actually, according to Xiaomi, so from 0 to 50%, 30 minutes lang daw ang aabuti ng charging. Well, that is actually quite true. Medyo mas mabilis pa ngayon sa akin. Dahil itong Redmi Note 9 Pro, nung ginawa ko yung charging test natin, from 0 to 50%, it only took around 28 minutes. So, mga 2 minutes difference lang sa pre-namis ng Xiaomi, which is actually good dahil nag-under-promise yung Xiaomi sa atin. That is everything, yun yung changes or yung pinagkaiba nitong Pro sa 9S. Same weight guys, 209 grams. Same feelings, medyo nabibigatan ako ng konti sa phone na to. Same processor, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G with an 8 nanometer process technology. Meron din po siyang octa-core CPU up to 2.3 GHz and Adreno 618 GPU. And same protection with the Redmi Note 9S. Itong Redmi Note 9 Pro, guys, it is protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass 5. So yes, front, back, and even the camera lens. Meron pa rin tayong IR blaster and secondary microphone sa ibabaw. Below, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type-C port, another microphone and speaker grill, and a side-mounted fingerprint sensor sa gilid, volume rocker sa ibabaw, and meron tayong SIM card tray sa kaliwa. And triple slot SIM tray yung meron tayo. And hindi ko masyadong na-mention sa previous video natin sa 9S, yung side-mounted fingerprint sensor po, parehas rin. Responsive, accurate, and snappy. And yung ating face unlock works every time. I actually also like yung placement ng volume rocker na nasa ibabaw instead na nasa kaliwa dahil mas easy access pag nasa kanan. And second to the last na pinagkaiba po nitong Redmi Note 9 Pro to the Redmi Note 9S is yung memory configuration. Kung maaalala nyo ang Redmi Note 9S, may dalawa siyang variants. And that is the 4GB RAM and yung kanyang price is 10490 and then yung max variant naman nito na 6 gram is 11,990 pesos. And for the Redmi Note 9 Pro, kaya nga siya tinawag na rin na Pro, the base variant is 6 gram with 64 gig of internal storage and the price is 12,490 and para naman sa kanyang max variant, we still have 6 gram pero meron naman siyang 128 gigs of internal storage and the price is 13,990 pesos. And performance-wise naman guys, wala akong masyadong nakita ang pinagkaiba niya sa Redmi Note 9S and hindi ka rin niya pag for a long period of time when it comes to loading applications. No issues then when it comes to scrolling or multitasking. Though, wala nga lang siyang higher refresh rate compared to other devices. So, it's not that smooth, pero para sa akin, hindi naman siya deal breaker. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison ng ang 2-2 results ng Redmi Note 9 Pro to the Redmi Note 9S. So, yes, gaming, although I'm not that much of a gamer, nahandle naman itong Redmi Note 9 Pro yung mga games na nilalaro ko sa kanya. I can say that, yes, it is more powerful than the Redmi Note 9S in terms of the cameras, battery life, and charging. I don't know why, pero mas tumatagal yung Redmi Note 9 Pro sa akin ng additional 1 1 hour to 2 hours kisa dito sa Redmi Note 9S. So ano dapat yung bilhin mo? Is it the Redmi Note 9S dahil mas mura? Or the Redmi Note 9 Pro, doon na tayo sa the best of the best. Well, para sa akin, since it really matters to me yung charging, battery, and set of cameras. Actually, not really the set of cameras, but 
the main camera, lalong lalo na yung night photography, and the price difference is around 1,000 to 2,000 depende sa variant na kukunin. Although, hindi ko naman po sinasabing hindi maganda yung Redmi Note 9S. However, again, if you are willing to spend, Redmi Note 9 Pro is a better pick. So, ano-ano ulit yung mga good and bad nitong Redmi Note 9 Pro. For the good, Again, it has a powerful processor, yung bundled fast charger sa kanya, good set of cameras, and of course, yung kanyang all-day battery life. For the bad, ito actually medyo parehas lang to for the Redmi Note 9S. Una-una, medyo malaki siya, and yes, medyo bulky and may kabigatan, but not really that much of a big deal. For females like me, hindi siya ganun kapakitable. And for video recording, for the low light, medyo average lang siya. So yes, that is it guys for the unboxing of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. And here's a teaser for our next video. Alam kong alam niyo na to. It is something that I am also looking forward to review. And kita niyo naman, wala na siyang plastic dahil ganun ako ka-excited. So yes, tapos na tayo. I can finally ship the Redmi Note 9S to our giveaway winner dahil nagawa ko na tong video na to. Again, it's your Tackle Mary and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!